this is what makes a dream come true is uh, all the all the preparation and all the the person you can count on for over three years caroline cote has dreamt of going on a solo trip to the south pole the montreal filmmaker and adventurer did just that and more breaking world record as fastest woman to complete an unassisted ski expedition to the south pole after with the team we looked at it and it was like 33 days, so it was a good surprise. Cote would cross more than 1,130 kilometers across Antarctica with her sled and compass, beating the last record from Swedish adventurer Joanna Davidson by five days. With the help from partners, a small team, and her husband, she spent every day of the last year preparing for this quest. Reaching the South Pole, you know, for me, it's like going on another planet. Uh, it's so complicated each day to do the kilometers because there's less oxygen at uh, the pole. Uh, you feel really like you, uh, you were on the moon. Known for its extreme dry weather and constant exposure to direct sunlight, bruises, sunburn and mistakes were bound to happen in Antarctica. For the 36-year-old adventurer, it is why she decided to make the long journey unassisted. All your gear is uh, brought to a uh, the extreme because it's it's so cold plastic is broken uh, and batteries are going really low fast but the most challenging part was the loneliness she faced throughout the trip the fact that i wanted to do this record to be the fastest this just stopped at day two after that i just wanted to say to people i love them as part of the project cote left voice memos tracking her journey every couple of days Messages that I was leaving on my way were just to say thank you to everyone that uh, I, I knew. It would be at the last stretch where she would find her husband on a plane waiting for her at the end point. I was crying a lot because it was the first thing I saw since the beginning of the, the journey. Everyone put a small detail in my expedition so I can finish and that made me really really emotive to know that uh, everyone did their best. So now it was my turn to do my best. In Montreal, Diona Makalinga, City News.